It's all in our hands, this life of time. Let's give unto us all. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. It has really been quite a while. So if you haven't been here before, my name is Helen. I live in a one better with my partner here in Sydney. So this week I just want to show you what I wear and what I get up to. It's 3.30 right now and I'm definitely the kind of person where if I'm not leaving the house, I don't get properly dressed. So I've only gotten properly dressed today and I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. With every field and rising sea. So outfit details, I'm wearing this knit from a Korean brand called Diagonal. I'm wearing this blue skirt from Lee Matthews, one of my favorite Australian brands. Got on my red Majuri necklace and then these Pamela card earrings. Ground floor. and my trousers are just too tight to be honest so some of the ones that I've worn the most over the years I am now selling off because they basically just don't fit anymore some of the skirts that you might remember me wearing a lot last year these two just don't really fit that well anymore they're both a little bit tight so I am going to resell them these Philippa K trousers that I used to love don't even go over my hip anymore so these are definitely going to Lately go. I've been so excited to finish up for the day because it means I get to work on some of my knitting projects. I've been sharing these on Instagram quite a bit. I've actually just completed my very first sweater. There are so many mistakes on it, but I'm still really, really, really happy with how it turned out. For my very first sweater, I made this. I chose to make something from very chunky yarn because obviously with chunkier yarn, you finish the project a lot faster than if it was really, really fine yarn. When I was looking at the pattern, I knew that it was probably going to sit a bit long on me. So I actually shortened both the sleeves and then the body as well to give it that really crop finish. I plan on wearing this as kind of like an elevated loungewear in winter. I don't know if I'll wear this out that much, but I definitely plan on cozying up in this in the autumn winter. And then maybe just like doing casual things or running errands um, in this sweater as well. In my color consultation that I did in Sydney, this is actually meant to be one of my best colors, but I'm not really super convinced. So let me know what you think. Um, yay or nay, I don't know. Now that this project is done, I have already started a new one. A few days ago, I got a parcel from We Are Knitters, which is a really popular kind of knitting brand over on Instagram. But the reason why I ordered from them is because I saw a particular pattern that I was really excited to work on. It's a long line cardigan, and I used to have a similar one in black years and years and years ago. And I haven't really been able to find a replacement in the stores. So when I came across this pattern, I thought it was the perfect project to work on. I've already started on this project. I was on the train a lot this weekend, so I kind of got started there and made some really good progress. I am currently working on the back panel, and this is a 33 hour project, so I've got a long, long, long way to go. Bedroom lamp on. As time goes by, As time goes by, as time goes by.
It is almost 12 o'clock and I thought I'll show you what I've been working on lately. Ever since I changed my channel name, I've been working on updating my website or rather creating a new website. This is what the website is looking like. I love the layout so much more than my last one. It's just a little bit more simple. And one of the updates I've made is this section. I've created this edit with some of my clothing, accessories, and lifestyle favorites. And what I really like is that I can now add a bit of a description at the bottom. I couldn't do this on my last website and it absolutely drove me insane. On my website, you'll also see the newsletter tab. So I'm starting a new newsletter. I'll be sharing different style tips in these newsletters as usual. But what's different about this newsletter is that I'll also be answering some of the questions you guys ask me, either on YouTube or on Instagram. So it'll be more of a conversation in a way that I feel like is harder on YouTube. I'll leave a link down below to join the newsletter list, but I'm super excited about this and the first one is going out uh, this week. week now this is our box has been sitting in my living room so I want to show you what are the pieces that are in here this was meant to be a part of my last video but it didn't arrive in time so I'm gonna show you today before I change I do want to quickly show you what I'm wearing today I even grabbed the actual shoes I wore these are some brown sandals from St. Agni a few years back. It's super hot today so I went for this really lightweight Doen blouse even though this top has sleeves it's a very lightweight cotton and it's very loose, which I feel like makes it quite comfortable in summer. These are my end of a Sori's trousers, the St. Agni shoes. This belt is from Anderson's and I'm also using this little bag from Osoy. I want to show you something cool about this bag. So on the side, you've got these clips. You can actually extend the strap into a shoulder bag. The strap gets longer here and you can wear it over your shoulder. This bag does fit the larger iPhone. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max and you can see that it just fits. Most of the time when I'm using this bag, because I wear it um, under the arm or in the crook of the arm, I don't bother closing it. It is a bit hard to close fully. So I'll just do up a little bit of the side and then just leave it. Immediately, I'm not a huge fan of this shape. With this puff sleeve detail, because the quilting has a little bit of padding on the inside, it actually makes the puff sleeve a lot more dramatic and it just makes this upper body area look very bulky. So not a huge fan, at least um, not on me. This jacket comes with a belt. So I've been trying to thread it through the belt loops and then I realized that there are none. This is kind of annoying because if you were to unbutton the jacket, then you have to take off the belt as well and um, it just seems impractical. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I really like this print, but I think the style of it is a bit of a deal breaker and I definitely prefer the shirt over the jacket. Next item I want to review are these linen shorts. So I've got the dress here and I absolutely love this dress. I've been wearing it a lot and it's just come out of the wash, looking very wrinkled. I don't wear a lot of shorts in my wardrobe, but I thought I would try these because I really love this linen cotton material. Um, and I feel like the style of this is also quite flattering. It's got this adjustable belt on the waist. It's high-waisted. We've got this faux pocket design here. But of course, you've actually got the real pocket as well. And the length of this is really good where it's not too short. In terms of styling, this is exactly how I imagine wearing it. With a simple tank top for summer and then maybe a little denim as well. The material of this is really, really lightweight. So I feel like you can't wear it early spring, but definitely late spring into summer. These are the two other pieces in the box. Both of these pieces are made from a cotton merino blend. So they feel really, really lovely on the skin. And this is another fabric from Cezanne that I find to be really, really comfortable. Even though it's on my bare skin, I don't feel the 
tiniest bit of scratchiness and the material is really really soft the color of this is very close to my Rebecca cardigan so I'm actually gonna grab that to compare I mean it's almost exactly the same the hand feel of them is also the same all very very soft and comfortable because we've got merino cotton blend it is also a little bit lighter weight so it will probably take you through most of spring Whereas this one, I feel like it's more of a winter to spring piece. Onto the matching skirt, um, it's got the same micro rib pattern. I was worried that this skirt would be a little bit too sheer, but I don't think it is. I'm wearing nude underwear on the inside and I don't really feel like you can see it. It would definitely have to be seamless, otherwise I feel like the fitted skirt will show any kind of marks. But if it's seamless and nude, I think it should be fine. If you're petite like me, the length of this skirt is actually perfect. It hits me at the top of my ankle, and this is the perfect length of skirt in my opinion. This is an ultra casual pairing, so with a denim jacket. And then let me show you with heels. And then this is a little bit more dressed up with heels, and I'll do like a cute little evening clutch. The apartment is always a little chaotic after I film, so I'm gonna do a little clean before dinner. It is golden hour, so this apartment is looking so 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 pretty. Favorite time of the day. Today's another really hot day, so this is the outfit I've gone for. I'm wearing this light yellow linen top with these brown silk trousers. You can see a little bit of creasing, I've been wearing them all day. These are a really versatile trouser because they're definitely comfortable enough for lounging around, but um, especially when they're pressed, uh, they're polished enough to wear out. I don't know if I feel very chic in today's outfit, but it is very practical and comfortable. And I feel like I'm as cool as I can be in these pieces. So the one I ended up choosing is this one. The reason why I chose these is because I thought I could mix it in with my alpaca yarn. I have some of this in my collection. I mean, I don't have a lot of yarn, but I did buy this a few weeks ago. So we'll get some of the fluffiness of the alpaca, and then we've also got the multicolor details from this one. Hi everyone, Sunday morning, and I'm just about to get dressed. Yesterday I ended up wearing this denim dress from Cos. I've shown this quite a few times lately and I've worn it quite a lot. It's just like an easy dress when I want to look nice but also don't want to style and fuss with too many things. I do not normally put my shoes on at the sofa, but just for filming. This look today is extremely oversized, but I feel like for a casual weekend, it just feels right. Uh, big cos top, grana silk trousers. I've knotted my belt a little bit, so it cinches in a little tighter. I'm wearing the brown sandals I've worn a few times this week. And then this beautiful Loewe bag, which I love, but also I don't feel like I use it enough. I 
just gotten back from trying on some wedding dresses with my friend. Uh, she's getting married. I've been helping her like, well, not much. I just go with her to try stuff on. And some of the dresses today were so incredibly stunning. I'm just rushing off now to go visit my grandma and then also my mom. So in a rush and then we'll probably just spend the afternoon running errands. I've also just grabbed this knitting project I'm working on. So hopefully I can get a little bit done on the train. Open my heart to this world Sunlight, dearest sunlight I am calling you across the old room Sunlight, dearest sunlight The style of the cardigan looks very nice. If the sleeves were right. Well, your pants are really nice. I'm pretty sure you own this exact top. Home and I'm gonna spend the rest of tonight editing. Thank you for watching. It's been such a long time since I've vlogged, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you next week. Bye.